Hello everyone, right here I have a 2021 BMW X7 X-Drive 40i designed for your excellence. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously as well as open up the sunroof. And to close all of them back together, just press and hold on the lock button. The X7 in Malaysia does come standard with BMW's Comfort Access Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So, just have the key form on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on any of the four door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. The X7 also does come standard with self-closing doors. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the X7, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake. And press the start button located to the right of the gear lever. Upon turning on the ignition, the steering wheel will move back to its last recorded position before the engine was turned off the previous time. The X7 comes with an electric, rack and pinion, power steering system. With the Design Pure Excellence trim, a sport leather wrapped steering wheel with thick sport grips at 10 and 2 is present. The X-Drive 40i is only available with an 8-speed sport automatic transmission. Rooted to the crafted Clarity Glass electronic gear lever on the center console, this transmission features a sport mode and Steptronic manual shifting. Steptronic can be selected by using either the gear lever or the pedal shifters behind the top two steering wheel spokes. Another two standard features for the X7 are front and rear parking sensors and a 360 degree camera system. When the camera system is active, there are active guidance signs and cameras that turn with the steering wheel for both the rear and the front cameras. To the left of the camera display, drivers can select options for parking, 3D view, and car wash mode. Meanwhile, to the right of the camera display, drivers can turn on or off the Park Assist automatic parking system and the reversing assistance system, select the camera picture, and also adjust the settings. Within the 360 degree camera view, drivers can also select the desired camera view. In between the start engine button and the auto hold button are four buttons that control the X7's driving modes. Sport is for drivers who want a dynamic driving experience. In this mode, there are two settings, Standard, which is the well, standard setting, and Individual, which lets drivers choose their own sport mode configuration. Next up is Eco Pro, which tunes the car to be more fuel efficient. Eco Pro also has either the standard setting or the personalized individual setting. 
The third mode is adaptive, and in this mode, the car will adapt itself to the current driving situation and the driver's driving habits. Lastly, Comfort, which provides for comfortable balanced drive, is the default mode upon startup. Safety features in the X7 include 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, dynamic brake control, cornering brake control, dynamic brake lights, a tire pressure monitoring system, and an immobilizer. BMW's driving assistance safety suite is standard as well. This one consists of lane departure warning, lane change warning, front collision warning with brake intervention, crossing traffic warning rear, and rear collision prevention. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two second row seats and all the seats on the third row. The X7 in Malaysia is fitted with 21-inch wide spoke style 753 by color light alloy rims. This car uses Continental Premium Contact 6 SSR 28545R21 run flat tires. Ventilated disc brakes are present all round, and the suspension is made up of double wishbones in front and a rear multi-link setup. The X7 also comes with the Executive Drive Pro Adaptive Air Suspension System and the Integral Active Steering Rear Wheel Steering System. The largest and the most expensive BMW Saloon is the 7 Series. On the other hand, the largest and the most expensive BMW crossover SUV is the X7. The X7 is the seventh crossover SUV model to be launched by BMW and was first announced in March 2014. It was then previewed by the Concept X7i performance concept car that came out at the 2017 Frankfurt Motor Show. The production X7 was officially unveiled in October 2018 as a 2019 model year vehicle before a formal public debut took place a month later at the 2018 Los Angeles Auto Show. The X7, codenamed G07, rides on the same cluster architecture platform as all other recent rear-wheel drive-based BMW models. In April 2022, the X7 received a facelift or life cycle impulse LCI in BMW Speak for the 2023 model year. For the Malaysian market, the pre-LCI X7 first went on sale in July 2019 in fully imported form, while the locally assembled version went on sale in May 2021. The LCI model is yet to go on sale in Malaysia. This X7 is powered by BMW's B58 B30, 3 liter, dual of 8 cams, 24 valves, turbocharged inline 6 petrol engine. This engine features Valvetronic fully variable valve control, double Venos variable camshaft control, and high precision direct injection. It produces 335 horsepower at 5500 to 6500 rpm and 450 Nm of torque at 1500 to 5200 rpm. 6.1 seconds is needed to get from 0 to 100 km per hour onto a 245 km per top speed. 83 liters is the fuel tank size, and the combined fuel consumption for the X7 X-Drive 40i Sport Automatic is 9.5 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 218 grams per kilometer, and the X7 is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the X7 design pure excellence include automatic auto-leveling adaptive BMW laser light LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED indicators for the front, the sides, and the rear, LED front and rear fog lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, body colored door handles and side mirrors, aluminum running boards, satin aluminum roof rails, and dual exhaust pipes. Speakers right there, and right there, bottle holder, Storage, power rear hatch button, mirror controls, window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, and all of them have a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock, and this button right here controls both the rear doors, powered sunshades at the same time. Central locking, two person memory function for the fully powered driver's seat. This one controls the front passenger seat, while these two control the um, middle row rear seats. Interior brightness adjustment, parking lights left and right,
storage. BMW door sills. And as mentioned earlier on, the driver's seat in this X7 Design Pure Excellence does get full powered adjustments with all of the controls located right down there, including your 4-way power lumbar support. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs. Five zone automatic climate control system. These are your front controls and there are a separate set of controls for the second and the third row which I'll show you later. But back to the front controls. Fan speed, temperature, automatic, different modes for the driver's side. Fan speed, temperature, automatic, different modes for the front passenger. Front and rear defrost. Three stage heated and ventilated seats for the front passenger and driver. You can select the desired zone and speed right up here. Maximum air conditioning, recirculation, and the button in the middle, push it down to activate your air conditioning, and push it up to bring up your climate control menu on the infotainment display. Right here, you can set your auxiliary ventilation, regulation climate control, seat heating distribution, synchronized heating ventilation, and air quality. Synchronized means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control all of the controllable options, but if you turn it off, each zone will have individual controls. This button brings up your intelligent safety menu. All on, individual, all off, and you can configure individual. Right here, different mode selection button, different band selection button, volume and power knob, your eight customizable buttons. You can program these eight buttons to store, say, your favorite navigation address, your favorite radio station, your favorite contacts, so on and so forth. Seat track. Down here, storage, Qi wireless charging pad, USB port, power outlet, cup holders with a cover.
this button, press it once to activate the dynamic traction control system, press and hold the button to deactivate the dynamic stability control system. This one brings up the camera system, this one brings up the parking sensors, and this one activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop-start feature. If the feature is activated, say you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam, the engine will momentarily shut off to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. Right here is your right height controls, downhill assist control, and right here is the X7's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake, and it disengages itself. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. There is an auto hold function for the parking brake, whereby, say, you arrive at a stop, again, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam, the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake, with the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. The X7 Design Pure Excellence comes with the BMW Navigation System Professional Touchscreen Head Unit. The system features a 12.3 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. Sound is channeled to the Harman Kardon surround sound system with 16 speakers producing 464 watts of power. <laughs> The Harman Kardon sound system that the X7 uses is actually quite good. Apart from the touch screen function, the display right above can also be controlled using your set of controls located down the center console right next to the gear lever. The knob goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right and clicks down for enter. On top of the knob is a touchpad where you can input say letters and numbers into the system. Behind the knob, back and option buttons and ahead of the knob, shortcut buttons for your media, communications, home, web, map and navigation. Now let's start with the menu that's currently highlighted and that is media. To the left, you can look at your various media options, radio, music collection, your Bluetooth device. Under your Bluetooth device, you can search, look at artists, albums, tracks, and you can also select your screen mirroring, mobile devices, and personalize the menu. In the middle, you have your current media playing information with the title, album up will show up here if present, Song duration, artist and album will show up here if present, and you have your list of songs. To the right, you can activate shuffle, share, and bring up your sound system settings. Right here, you have your individual entertainment mode, theater mode, Logic 7 surround setting, your various sound options, sound, treble, bass, balance, fader, your equalizer, volume settings, reset, and audio confirmation when you touch the display, touchpad, and gestures. To go back to the home menu, hit the home button. Next up, communications, where you can look at your contacts, call lists, mobile devices, bring up BMW assistance, BMW messages, and personalize the menu. You have your navigation, search, recent destinations, home address, points of interest, and all that. Right here we have the maps, where you can zoom in and out. It is a 3D map, so you have your various points of interest. And to the right, you can look at your traffic information, theme maps, set up the map, bring up your settings, split screen. Next up, your vehicle menu. Right above, driving information, vehicle status, your various settings. General, driving mode, exterior lights, driver assistance, displays, so on and so forth. You have your experience modes, carrying car, driver profiles, and you have your onboard owner's handbook right here as well. Apps, your various installed apps, your BMW store, And right here, you have your navigation, media, communication, and whatnot. Right 
right above. You can edit your pages. You can add a page, delete a page. Hit done to when you are done. You can swipe down to bring up your various recently used apps. And you have your notifications, your Bluetooth um, signal, so on and so forth. And if you hit the clock, you can set the date and time. Heads up display. Central locking. And as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button. Wiper controls. Indicator controls. The buttons at the end of the indicator stalk, the bottom one activates the automatic high beams, while the top one goes through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now you have your mileage and value since your last reset with your trip meter and average speed, how much power and torque you are using, your G meter, media, your gear position and driving mode, fuel consumption information, and back to your mileage and trip meter. Adaptive cruise control and speed limiter controls, volume controls, seat track, Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, and this one, it brings up your list of media options on the heads up display then you can use the toggle wheel to go through the different options alternatively if you click the toggle wheel down you can bring up your list of songs the steering wheel in this car is fully powered tilt and telescopic you adjust it using this knob right here front center armrest with storage down below it is illuminated and you can find a USB-C port right in here as well frameless auto dimming rear view mirror LED reading lights and interior lights right here you have the controls for the sunshade for the portion of the panoramic sunroof that's above the third row seats. This one opens up the shade while this one closes the shade. And right here you have the controls for the fully automatic panoramic sunroof. You pull back once to open up the shade. And pull back a second time to open up the sunroof itself. You can also open up the sunroof as a vent. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and an LED light. And the driver does get a grip handle as well. Alright, 
So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speakers right there, and right there, bottle holder, storage, window control, this one controls the shade for that window, this one controls the shade for this window, this one controls the shade for both windows, well this one controls the shade right up there. To gain access to the last row of seats, push this button. The whole seat moves forward, then you can climb into the back. Now that I am in the last row of seats, I did set the middle row of seats to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a tiny bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the middle row of seats. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. It is relatively spacious depending on how you configure the middle row seats, but I guess it's still fairly comfortable for a short journey, or it's better for smaller individuals. For the last row of seats on both sides, you have cup holders, controls for the seats, right above, aircon vents, And right up here, you have the aforementioned climate control for the last row of seats. You have your air conditioning, automatic, temperature, fan speed, different modes, maximum air conditioning, and you can turn it off right here. And you have the reading lights slash interior lights for the last row of seats, and you can also open up the shade right here. Now the middle row seats split 40-20-40, however when you fold them down, the button on that side folds down the left seat and the middle seat, while the button on this side folds down the right seat. Just pull it, and the seat will do its thing. You can adjust the middle row seats by the controls down here. Again, this one controls the right side, or the one on that side controls the left side and the middle side. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. As mentioned earlier on, I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are comfortable as well. But as mentioned earlier on, you can always um, adjust the position of the middle row seats to suit your needs. On the front seat backs, 
uh, storage pockets together with cutouts that help with additional leg room. You also have your rear seat entertainment systems. Aircon vents in the middle with the aforementioned middle row climate control system. Automatic, temperature for the left, temperature for the right, fan speed, different modes, maximum air conditioning. And down below you have your CD DVD player with the eject button, HDMI port, couple of USB-C ports, couple of headphone jacks, and down below you have a more a couple more USB-C ports together with a power outlet. Rear center armrest with storage and cup holders. And to fold down only the middle seat, pull this strap right here. Right above. For both sides, for the middle row, you have grip handles, hooks, LED reading lights, and LED interior lights. On the B pillars, you can find hooks and air vents. There are four ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2021 X7. Boot space in the X7 with all the seats in place is 326 litres. With the third row seats folded, boot space increases to 750 litres, and with the second and the third row seats folded, boot space is now 2120 litres. To the right of the boot is a storage pocket and a power outlet, on both sides of the boot are LED lights, and to the left of the boot are the controls to fold the seats down. Under the boot floor is storage. There are actually two cargo covers for the X7, one fixed one to be used in 7-seater mode, and another adjustable one that is used whilst in 5-seater mode. Adjustable headrests for all rows of seats in this car.
speakers, bottle holder, storage, window control, your two-person memory function for the fully powered front passenger seat, and like the driver's seat, the front passenger seat does get full powered adjustments with all the same controls as you can find on the driver's side. lockable glove box. It is of a nice size. It is LED illuminated as well. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with an LED light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2021 BMW X7 XDrive 40i Design Pure Excellence. Thanks for watching and goodbye.